Salve a tutti, I'm Dom, and today I'm here with you to talk about the newer 176S LED light. I've been looking for a new light for quite a long time. Uh, I was looking for a light that is that was small, portable, good in any condition, whether it's in a studio, at home, or outside on the street. And I stumbled upon this newer 176S light, and I decided to purchase it because the price was quite appealing. Um, but the price was not the only thing that actually got me into this light. Uh, the things that really made me interested in purchasing this light were the 176 LEDs that is composed of and these LEDs are pretty bright the second thing is that as I told you I was looking for a portable light and this light is really slim small and portable you can put it in your backpack and have it ready for whenever you want ready you need to have a power supply for these otherwise it won't turn on of course but the good thing is that this light works with normal NPF 770 batteries you can purchase them everywhere or it has a DC uh, DC adapter so if you if you have a DC adapter in your house or in your studio or if you want to buy one you can just plug it in this light and have this light on for as long as you want until you keep paying your electricity bill, because if you stop and they cut the electricity, then it won't turn on, would it? But if you have no problem in paying your bills, then you can keep this light on for as long as you want without issues. And again, you can use the battery, so if you are outside and you don't have any outlet or plugs, how you call them, where you can, where you can plug it in, you can just mount the battery at the back and be ready to film or take pictures, because it's not only for filming this light. To turn on this light, that is the little knob at the back, the only thing you need to do is hold it down for a couple of seconds and the light will turn on. And that's it, the light is on. But the knob at the back doesn't only totally control the on or off of the light, it controls the brightness, so we can turn it to increase the brightness and as you can see it's really bright, it's getting brightness, I'm starting to get blind now, or decrease it, so we can choose the type of brightness we want but it doesn't end here because by pressing it again just one fast click we can control the color so we can go from a, a really white light to a really yellow light or we can stay in between and have both lights so in this way we can achieve the great pictures with the color that we're looking for so depends on your condition you might need white light or you might need a yellow light or you might need a more natural light and it doesn't end here because this light comes with a diffuser so as you can see the light now is pretty harsh on my face but by putting the diffuser and it just slides on top of the camera as you can see pretty easy now the light is softer and I can change it to white or yellow keep it in the middle and then by pressing it again pressing the knob again we're back into the brightness control I can increase it or decrease it. So, all in all, hold it down, the light turns off. Again, all in all, this is a great purchase. You have a cheap, cheap light, because it comes 25, 26 pounds, <coughs> and it comes with a diffuser, so you can have a nice soft light. You can control the brightness, so you can have a really bright light in really dark condition or you can have a lower light just as a fill up light on the back on the face on the side whatever you like comes with its own hot shoe adapter so you can mount it on top of your camera or you can mount it on a tripod it has the little hole at the bottom where you can just screw it somewhere else it's tiny it's small it's portable bright and for the price trust me the quality that is built is amazing um, you know sometimes you purchase some cheap stuff and the quality is not the greatest but actually this light although it's plastic it's made of plastic it's an amazing type of plastic it's pretty sturdy it's really hard plastic it's not moving there is no play in the in the chassis in the in the light 
and the front diffuser it doesn't move so once it's on you don't have any weird noises or movements from the diffuser you can simply and easily slide it out and have the light with the full LEDs that is just playing around or slide the diffuser on top and you have a, a softer light so my personal suggestion is just buy it if you're looking for a light and you're an amateur you're a semi-pro or a professional why not i mean even professional want to save some money sometimes and if you can buy a great quality light for a cheap price just go for it don't think twice and if you are a photographer or a video maker anything this light can be used in any different condition you can even like make a barbecue at night and use the light to bright up your barbecue if there is not enough light if you're looking for a light just go for this if you're looking for a small portable light just buy the newer 176s one of the greatest one and one of the best one thank you for watching ciao